Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to get set up and running uh, and being efficient with Emacs almost immediately right out of the box. And the way to do that is by installing SpaceMax, which is a pre-configured Emacs. So you install Emacs and then you install SpaceMax on top of it and, uh, and then you're just ready to go. There's no packages or anything that you have to install. It's already set up and awesome. And so we'll show you how to do that in this video. So installing Emacs is pretty simple. Uh, most Linux distributions have it in their package manager. So you can either use, you know, whatever GUI they have or just do like, you know, apt install Emacs or whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the um, GUI here provided in Ubuntu. And then Windows and Mac, they have their own installation um, instructions. But you just need to install it. Okay, and then once it's installed, you can go ahead and launch it up. And you'll notice it has almost nothing done for you. So you, um, now we're going to go ahead and install SpaceMax. And all you need to do in, to install SpaceMax is um, clone the SpaceMax repository on GitHub. So I just copy and paste that. Okay, and so I already have a .emacs.d repository, which is where all the packages for Emacs get installed. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the .emacs.d file or folder, but if you already have an Emacs configuration, go ahead and just like move it or change the name of the folder or you know put it somewhere else. But I'm going to remove it and I'm going to use the bad command that you should not use. But oh well. Okay, and now we'll finally get clone that repository into our .emacs.d folder. And once that's done, all we need to do is close out Emacs and then reopen it. And we should have our space max. And then, so we'll want to choose our preferred editing style. I would go with the Among the Stars aboard the Evil Flagship. The, or the default, so you can just hit enter, and that'll give you Vim uh, key bindings, which are awesome, and then go ahead and use the standard distribution, and we're going to use Helm, Ivy's cool too, but Helm is good, it, you know, it comes standard, so just hit enter, 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 enter as many times as necessary, and it'll start installing everything for you, and so this is going to download a bunch of packages that make Emacs uh, awesome. Okay, so once we've done all that, all we have to do is open up Emacs. So however you open up Emacs is go ahead and do that. And then we'll open up SpaceMax, because SpaceMax is Emacs. And I'm gonna go ahead and resize this a little bit. And then you'll wanna figure out how to move around the file system. And the way to do that the easiest way is to do space and then F for files and then F for Helm find files. And that kind of opens up this little file system manager uh, or diared kind of thing. And then we can move up and down. So like we're in our home directory. Well, I'm in screen key right now. So if I want to get out of that, I can do, I can go press control K to go up to this, um, you know, the previous directory. I can get out that way, or you can go, uh, I believe it's control H will move you up a directory. And then, so yeah, we can basically just, you know, that's how you move around. It's super easy. And then it's got fuzzy search. So if I want that GNU PG, I can just type in N U P G and it's there. So fuzzy search is there and that's awesome. And so that's basically how you move around your file system. Um, so if you, oh, and then also to get to the root directory, you just type in slash slash and that, that'll get you to your root. And then if you want to get to your home directory, you can do the little tilde and then the slash and that'll get you there. Okay. And creating files is super easy in Emacs or space max. So let's go ahead and just select a file. It doesn't matter. And then we'll start over. So to create files and directories, you do space file again and then F so you enter this like helm find file thing and then 
you'll want to so basically we I mean we can select temp.txt if so if we just type in tmp.txt that would allow us to select it because it's highlighted so if we enter it then we're in um, the temp.txt file but if you do space file file again and then you want to create a file well let's go ahead and say we want to create tm.txt so we can do tm well actually let's do something else so we'll do dog.txt right so there's nothing there so we just hit enter and then dog.txt is created so we can save that but so we've saved that as dog.txt now let's do space file file again and then we can see dog.txt is right here and so uh, if we want to create a directory while we're in this uh, find file thing we uh, this helm find file we can create a directory by doing uh, like dog and then you just add a slash at the end and hit enter and then it'll say create directory yes or no and then you type y for yes and now you've got the dog directory and so there it is and to uh, the one issue you may have so like we've got a file called t we've got a file called tmp.txt so if we wanted to create a file called tm.txt so tm if we were to hit enter right now it would open up tmp.txt but right here if you wanted to create this tm file you just scroll up to this little like question mark section and then you hit enter and then it'll create that file and so that's how you can avoid it opening files when you're trying to create them or whatever and then saving files is easy so if you're in dog.txt and you want to write some text on it you can well you can do it the vim way with colon write but you can also do it with space file and then save would be save buffer and so that would save it and so that's pretty simple too okay ignore how things are different I'm just terrible at video editing so we're gonna show you how to move files so right now we've got space hyphen notes and bad file in uh, this dog dir. so we're gonna move them both out of it so we can select both of them for marking uh, with M and then we'll do shift R to rename or move the file so or move those files so we're gonna move them out of the dog dir and into tester so we just hit enter and then uh, refresh and then we can see that they're gone so then if you want to get out we can check and we can see that they're um, now in the tester and then we can see that they're still purple so we we'll want to unmove them unmark them so we can unmark them just like that and then just like we did earlier if you want to move them back in select them for mark as marked with M and then shift R to rename and then we tell them where we want them to go enter and now they're in dog dirt and then if you want so that's how you do it you can do it for as many as few files as you want so now let's go ahead and rename this file bad file into good file so we can uh, again mark it and then we'll do shift R to rename and then this time we're, we're gonna keep the file in the dog dirt but we're gonna call it good file dot txt all right, and there we go. Now it's a good file. So we can unmark, and there we go. And that's it. And when you're working with Emacs, the whole window thing is actually called a frame. So we're looking at one frame right now. And if you want to open another frame, which I don't see people doing very often, but opening opening another frame would be uh, oh, space W and then capital F for make frame uh, and so now you've got a second frame to work with and then if you want to switch between the frames you would do control X 5 O and I believe these are Emacs um, bindings I don't know the exact um, space max bindings but I think most people just work with one frame so uh, to close out a frame you can do control X 0 oh is it no it's control X 5 0 to close the frame and actually the Emacs the space max way is different so let's do it again so space W capital F to make a frame and then if, we, if you want to close the frame you do space quit or Q for quit 
Uh, and then Z is a frame killer, so that would kill the frame. Instead of working with frames, most people would like to work with windows. And so you can open up, you can split this frame into multiple pieces by doing space W, and then you can hit the slash to split it left and right, or you can do space window and hyphen to split it up and down. And so those are um, those are how you switch the uh, switch or split the frame into multiple pieces, and then you can switch between them by these little numbers here. So you've got it's, well, window one, window two, and window three. So if we want to get to window three, we just do space and then three. And then now we're editing that one. Well, I guess we're editing them all because they're the same buffer. But So space window three, uh, or space two to get to the bottom left one, and then space one to get to the number one. And that's super easy. And then if you want to delete windows, you do space WD for delete. And again, space WD for delete. Okay, and I get kind of tongue-tied with this uh, buffers explanation, but basically buffers are what hold the contents of the file. Buffers are similar to tabs in other editors, like Vim or Sublime Text. So think you can kind of think of them like tabs that you can open or close to edit different files. And so if you're going to be operating, well, you, buffers are inside of Windows. So we've got one frame, and we've got one window, and we've got one buffer here. Um, and then if we got so um, if you want to if you want to switch to the most recent buffer you were at, you can do space tab, and so tm was the most recent file we were working on, and so that's why it'll switch back to that tm. And then if you want to go back to uh, the most recent one again, space tab, and now we've got our dog.txt file, and so you can see a list of the buffers you were working on by doing space B and then I believe it's is it B again yeah it's B again and then so you can see all of the files or buffers that we've been working on so we've got TM temp.txt and so this is how you'll switch to the files um, quickly is by using space buffer so space B and then B and then that'll show you the recent files and it also keeps track of directories too and so we've got this desktop directory and that's a buffer as well and so if you want to and so sometimes you'll have problems where you'll have an open buffer and then you may open the file again in another text editor or something so like I've got this lock file here um, and I believe that's just because I need to save I've, I've edited the dog file without saving it and so if that should go away Let's go ahead and go to uh, the dogs.txt file, and then we'll save it, and space BB, and then desktop, and now that, that file is gone. So I guess you just be careful, um, but yeah, do your editing. So it tries to protect your files. And then if you want to close buffers, you can do space B, and then D will kill this buffer. So we're going to kill this desktop buffer. And so that way it's not clogging up our um, our Emacs system. And so then we can take a look at our current list of buffers. And then we can kill them. So, oh, well, uh, we can search them. So we could go to tmp.txt. Uh, and then we could space bd to kill that one. And so that's how you kill buffers. Jumping to specific places on your text editor with your cursor is very fast and very easy with a tool called AV, which is built into SpaceMax. And so you do what you would do is type in space and then J for jump. And then you would type in the character that you want to find. So if you type in J, that would mean go to a specific character. And so if we type in D, then it would give us all of the places that the character D shows up on the in the file. So it's right here, 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 and here. And so if we want this uh, this window right here, then we would type in F because F is what showed up there. So F would take us right to that spot where D is. And then you can type in uh, space and then J for jump and then capital J if you want to do it by two letters. So if you got a lot of the same repetitive stuff, um, 
like this ju up here so we would type in ju and then we've only got three so we would pick you know whichever one you want and then there's also uh, go based on words so we can do space j and then over here for w w stands for word or subword so we type w and then uh Oh, okay, S apparently has a bunch, so we do K. Yeah, so we've got a bunch of different words that start with the letter S, so that was a bad example. But So space, jump, word, and then let's do delete. So I'll type in D, and I've only got two words in the file that start with the letter D. So let's pick S, and there we go. So that's how you can quickly jump to places um, in your file with AV. Shell commands are super easy also. Uh, I'm in the desktop folder, so it's going to run the command in the desktop. But I can, let's go into temp.2, it doesn't matter. And then do space. And then this explanation point will allow you to run a shell command. So I'm going to say touch cats, or well, make dir cats. Enter. And then there we go. So let's go ahead and do space FF to see the directory. And you see our cats folder that we just made. And so you can do whatever command and it'll, it'll run in the directory that you're in or that the folder's in. Searching in space max is very easy. So well, basically uh, you would do space and then S for search. And then you've got all these different options. And so S again will give you Helm swoop and it'll allow you to search the file. And so if we want to see all the places where it says I, then we just type in I. And then we'll, we're given four op four places where the letter I is. You know, and we can, you know, you can make it more uh, specific, but we'll stick with I. And then if you want to select a specific, you know, you, you search for the one, you press and hold control, and then you can use the Vim key characters to go up and down. So control J to go down. Control K to go up, and so you can select it. And then, so if you want to do kill hello, you just let go of, and you press enter, and then your your cursor is right there. Um, and so that's searching for in a file. And then, if you want to do the searching through all buffers, you do space S for search, and then right here you can see B for Helm buffers smart do search. That will search all of the buffers. And so let's see here, uh, AS, so we've, we're in the temp.txt file, but the, letter, the letters AS show up in notes. And so if we want to get to this little, this line here in notes.txt, we just select it, and then boom, there we're at. There we are. So I could probably go on all day about all the different things you could do in Emacs, but it's really self-explanatory. If you just hit the space bar, then there's a whole bunch of different options. It's you know it uses mnemonics, so B for buffers, um, etc. And so if you're looking for something, just hit the space bar and, and try to find you know what it is that you're looking for. And there's also great documentation to help you out uh, further if you need help. Let me know if there's anything I missed that you would like to see in the video. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please consider an, either investing in yourself or investing in your wardrobe. On, on our site, we've got several different things. Uh, we've got like t-shirts, uh, like programming related t-shirts, and also programming and tech and engineering related books that you can buy off of our site. And so feel free to check those out and help support the channel and have a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Do subscribe to the channel and like and leave a comment and all that stuff. See ya.